Hey healthy people, how are you guys? As you can see, I'm working. My laptop's over there on the floor. I'm working on the floor today, but I always have to have something in the background. That's why I have my music on, but it's paused. I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about non-negotiables and what they are and why I would suggest anyone to have one. I have three non-negotiables. I'm going to say them in the order that I do them. Journal, prayer, exercise. And the reason why I do them that way is because I journal. My journaling is a catalyst. I've committed. One of the things that I am able to do is to commit to myself. Don't trust people who can't commit to themselves. Don't trust people who commit to you more than they commit to themselves. I know it sounds cliche. I know it's an African proverb. I have to look it up. That says something like if someone would give you their last shirt off their back, you know, don't trust them. You don't trust them because that's just too much when you really sit down and think about it. So one of the things I can do is keep my commitments to myself. I said, hey, there's benefits in journaling. I want the whole world to journal. I've been telling them to journal, but they don't know that I'm journaling. So I'm going to commit to journaling with them every morning in my rawest form. You know, I get up, I journal, we do what we do. Once I'm up and I'm journaling, that's my catalyst. I'm already up. I've done something that's actual, actionable. It's a motion to that. My brain is turned on because I'm thinking, and it's only for three minutes. Sometimes I talk more than I journal, but I'm still doing something. So now that I'm up, I'm like, man, I don't want to go back to sleep. I do want to go back to sleep, but I'm already up. So then I pray. And sometimes my prayers are longer than others. Um, so then I pray. I try to be intentional because, again, I don't. It's not that I don't want. I know that we don't always have the luxury of having these hour-long prayers. So I try to be as intentional as possible. When I'm done, now I have to decide to work out. Okay, so I have to decide to work out. And what helps me to work out is sometimes I say just do 10 minutes. Sometimes when I don't feel like working out, I might say, well, walk. Go to the park and walk. And once I start walking, then I'm like, well, jog. You know, then I have my jump rope. Do some jump ropes. Do some jump squats. It just, it escalates from there. But I first have to take that first step. And they're my non-negotiables. And so when I say that they always get done, I always keep the after in mind. And I think for me, it has become easier over time, because I've been doing this since 2015, is because it helps me. It keeps me grounded. It keeps me sane. It keeps me from falling into depression. It keeps me from feeling hopeless. It keeps me from being angry. It keeps me from being a lot of things that I don't want to be. That does not mean that I don't have bad things that happen in my life because I definitely do. That does not mean that I don't have sadness because I do from time to time. That does not mean that I don't have certain emotions because of course I do. Um... But these things keep me and I know that because I've tried it and I see the difference in myself. Before that, I was toxic to other people. I allowed a lot of toxic people into my space because I did not have anything in place for myself. I did not have anything in place. This is almost a form of a boundary. I did not have anything there. And now that I do, now I do. And now that I do, things look different for me. So because I lived the other way for so long... And I thought there was nothing on the other side of life. It's easier for me to say it's an hour of your day to do these things. Two hours at most. It's whatever I decide. However long I decide to be in the gym or work out, that's the, that's the length of time that it is. But at most, it's an hour of my day to journal, pray, and work out. One hour for a better life. That's it. It's like there's nothing else that's that important to me. So I get my hour in, my non-negotiables, and I call it a day. And I suggest you all get some. Start small. One thing you're going to always hear me say is start small. It's better to start small and be three steps ahead, two steps ahead, one step ahead next year than to try to start big and then you're exactly where you are at or worse next year. So start small. Practice self-compassion. Love on yourself. And know that change happens. The desire to change happens. And then if it's needed, then the healing comes. Um... Yeah, that's it. Wishing you guys healthier, happier habits. I did not mean to talk this long, but here we go. Have a good one.